The female ground hornbill is the head of a group of birds which seem to be one big happy family. However, below the surface there is tension and intrigue which affects the lives of every member of this strange dynasty of birds. The female has spent some of the day alone with the chick in the hole high up in the giant tree, waiting for the rest of the group to return with food. When the hornbills arrive at the nest, something is very wrong. During the night, the tree has fallen down. The birds know that the opening in the forest is the place where only yesterday they had been happily feeding their chick in the huge forest tree. They seem to know too that somewhere below the shattered remains of the giant tree, the chick lies dead. Late one evening, a year later, the family flies into some large trees in a new patch of forest along the Voy River. Some are carrying food and nesting material. It's not hard to imagine on a night like this that should anyone harm a member of this family, they would receive a ghostly visit from four witches with ill intentions. She had laid a second egg three days after the first. The female takes to walking short distances with the others. Everything seems peaceful, but beneath the surface there is tension. Social positions are at stake. Every male chick grows up hoping for a breeding position in the dynasty. Unless the eldest son can oust his father, he must remain a subservient helper in order to stay in the group. But even if he does take over from his father, he still cannot breed unless his mother dies and another female enters the group. Female chicks masquerade as males for as long as six years. Their mother only sees them as female when they can no longer suppress the small blue patch on the red of their faces. Then they are evicted. The 40 days are up and right on cue the first chick hatches. As the female heads back towards the nest, we can see how carefully she and the others have kept all the choices prey for their chick. The female is first to arrive. Something is wrong. There's no welcoming call from a chick. It can mean only one thing. The chick is dead. The body of the chick is still there. It has a wound on its head from some predator. It's covered in ants. A mysterious death in the family with no real explanation. Towards sunset, the dominant male gives in to his fear of the baboons and comes to feed the female. A big baboon sits nearby. A few days later, the hornbills left the tree. Once again, for the fourth consecutive year, the group failed to raise a chick. The four hornbills stay together for yet another year. When the time comes to nest again, the female chooses an isolated tree away from the riverine forest. The nest hole is completely open on one side. Woodpeckers live here, indicating it is rotten. It's full of ants. It's half dead, full of cracks. It's a fig tree. It'll attract baboons and monkeys as soon as the fruit ripens. It seems that this tree is the worst possible choice. The next lesson is a live snake. When the dominant male flies down, everyone is a bit tense. Suddenly there's a new unknown player in the game. It's been many years since they last had a chick this age to absorb into the group. A new hierarchy must be set up and the future of the dynasty will be affected in many complex ways by this new addition. There have been changes in those years. A son has left, leaving his position for a younger son. In six years' time, this chick too will have to make a decision to leave or stay. Will it be revealed as a female to be banished by its mother or choose to remain a subservient helper for life?